Hey guys, uh, so the saga continues on this thing. Sorry for all these little short vids of it here. It, I don't have a lot of phone space, so uh, typically I would just click pause and whatever, so and then start it back up. I'm gonna, I've been doing little, little tiny uh, vids for you guys. Uh, let's talk about the piston. I polished the top. I opened up the windows. I don't know if you guys can see that real good or not. In here, I tried to blend this so there wasn't a big, big step. This is the window that I cut in it for the extra timing I need for the reed valves. And I didn't go full width of the port because I'm trying to leave as much piston support in here as I can but uh, all in all this pistons four grams lighter than it was from the factory which that's that's quite a bit so I'm hoping that'll that'll help out and uh, I still haven't started on that I wanted to get all the intake uh, done on this first oh. try to get this Scoot this over this way. Try to get this to where you guys can can see it. Now this is at ninety right now, so uh, where that shuts off is at ninety, which is a lot more than I would normally go on a build, and then I have all that extra timing right right there to let more in and then it shuts off there and then just a little bit more than the ring is ring is exposed uh, so that that's what I come up with uh, for that I've seen dirt bike pistons like that I've also seen them where there's I didn't do the two square holes because I don't I didn't want this I didn't want this exposed before the port shut off um, that's my logic on that so I just I thought I'd uh, show that to you guys for any of you that's wanting to duplicate this build or, or anything like I said this is all just a big big experiment for me this this could fail totally for me too but I, I, I feel like I'm on the right path things are going smoother for me uh, this time around so but I just thought I'd show that. Uh, let me pause you and I'll, I'll throw it on the saw real quick just a second. All right, this is just sitting on there, but this way you guys can see there's my ring. So it drops down. And normally there's more ring than that showing, but I, I cut the base. This intake's been lowered, but see right there? So I... She just just starts to crack open there. It's open all that way. So if if we were to try to do that on a normal normal chainsaw, it would just blow right back as this piston's coming. Coming back now and it'd just be hoofing it right back out the back of the carburetor. But uh, the reed blocks that go in here act like a one-way check valve and, and prevent that. Another nice thing that reeds do is they really atomize the fuel that go, goes through them. So, and uh, I'll go around here on the other side and give you an idea how much I cut off that base. the piston sticks up that that far now yeah it uh, I ground that little notch out there it's still gonna have to clearance some more on it but it, it's getting there I just thought I'd show the show the update so but uh, you guys have a good one